It's the Million Dollar Organizer Show, tips for professional union organizers. Win more campaigns, balance work and family, and leave the competition in the dust. Now here's your host, Bob Odie. Hello, union organizers. Welcome to podcast episode number 31. How are you feeling these days? Are you overworked? Are you out of work? Are you feeling stressed? Lost a close friend or overcome an adversity? Maybe you've lost a campaign. Hey, I've been there. The reason I ask is because sometimes we get overwhelmed, and union organizing is not for the faint of heart. We're in the middle of an election season with just weeks till election day. It's perfectly normal to feel anxious. Some organizers are working seven days a week. We're doing member-to-member calls as part of GOTV. Maybe you're not getting as much rest as you need as part of Team No Sleep. Why do some people burn out and others don't? It's a question worth asking. It may have something to do with managing stress. And speaking of stress, in 2016, I was working as a release staff in a battleground state. We were on the road week after week. I remember staying in a Jive hotel. This was a smoker's paradise, only I don't smoke. I went to work every day, my clothes smelling like an ashtray. It was in the air. Today... I'm going to recommend you put together a praise file. That's right, a praise file. And whenever you get a win or an award, a positive review, a praiseworthy email from your boss or coworker, an attaboy or an girl for that matter, you take that acknowledgement, thank the person who gave it to you. Don't just pass it off and say, ah, it was nothing. Go ahead and acknowledge yourself. Then place it in your praise file. This will be something that you can refer to in the future when times are tough and you feel defeated or you feel like throwing in the towel. How many organizers have given up and gone back to work with the tools or said, somebody else will have to take that one on? I'd like to organize that shop, but it's impossible. Well, it's not impossible. Nothing is impossible. What you probably need is an attitude adjustment. And guess what? You can't rely on others to do it for you. You've got to do it yourself. A praise file might be just the thing to keep you moving when the going gets tough. You can refer back to a time when you nailed it. You did everything right. And to give you a baseball analogy, these pitches are coming in hard and fast. Up around the chin area. It's normal to be uncomfortable in a situation like that. We've all got to take a moment to step back, take a deep breath, readjust, and then aim for the fence. We're not going to get them all. But if we keep our head and remember those times when our skills and our abilities were in our favor, that's when we'll knock one out of the park. Thanks for listening. We hope that you'll subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Give us a five-star review and let us know what you'd like to hear the Million Dollar Organizer talk about. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Union Organizer. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.